Turning it off and on again may quickly solve any issues you may be having with some pieces of networking equipment and other technology. But does the same apply to your router? In this video, we'll discuss whether you should be rebooting your router, whether there are any electrical savings that can be made, and the number one reason people choose to power down their router when it's not being used. Hey everyone, it's Chris here from HomeNetworkGeek.com where we talk about everything home networking. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's jump straight in and find out whether you should be rebooting your router. Some people will say it's worthwhile rebooting your router on occasion, or even power it down completely when you go to bed at night or leave your home. Now I personally never power down my router unless I'm leaving home for an extended period of time, like going on vacation. However, I will reboot it on occasion, but only if it's absolutely necessary. If I'm experiencing an issue with my router, I'll always try and find another way of being able to solve it and only reboot it as a last resort. So here are several reasons as to why I do this and why you shouldn't reboot or power down your router either. Just like network switches and other pieces of networking hardware, routers are designed to be left powered on and working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Some will say that frequently switching off and on your router can reduce its lifespan. But to be honest, I'm a bit dubious as to whether this has any long lasting consequences. In this modern age, the simple act of turning off and on a piece of electrical equipment shouldn't reduce its lifespan. Now if it had a mechanical switch, this would be slightly different as the switch itself could wear out quicker. And some routers may use the switch as a method of powering it off and back on. But to be honest, switches are designed for hundreds of thousands of uses before it gets anywhere close to reaching its end of life. At the end of the day, routers are designed in such a way that they don't need powering down. Of course, we still have the option to reboot them or power them down completely, as there may come a time where we've got no choice but to do this. However, just because the option is there doesn't mean you need to take it. This isn't a justified reason to reboot or power down your router if you ask me. The simple act of switching your router off and back on may seem harmless, but it can actually be seen as a connection instability. So what are the consequences of this? You could find that your download and upload speeds actually drop as a way of being able to try and stabilize the connection. Whenever I was experiencing an issue on my network, no matter how big or small it was, I'd always go and reboot the router as the first course of action. You could probably imagine my surprise when I found my connection speeds to actually be lower, even just after a reboot. Now it didn't happen all the time, but there were certainly times where my ISP would drop my connection speeds as they believed the reboot was actually an instability on the line, rather than me manually rebooting it or powering it off and back on. Based on the research I've done since, the odd reboot probably won't affect much, if anything at all. But when it happens quite a lot over a short period of time, this is what causes the ISP's alarm bells to start ringing, and they could drop your connection speeds to try and fix what they believe is a connection instability. Now it's inevitable that powering down your router will prevent all of your devices from accessing the internet. At the end of the day, you're removing the router from the equation, which sits in the middle between your devices and the modem, which itself is what ultimately accesses the internet. So what about those devices that you may not use on a daily basis, but still rely on a Wi-Fi connection? What happens to those when the router gets powered down? Now the number of Wi-Fi connected devices we use in our homes has increased tenfold recently. Many people will have plugs, light bulbs, and even window blinds that rely on a Wi-Fi connection to function. Depending on how you have these smart devices set up will determine whether they continue to function even when the router is powered down. Some particular models of these devices will use what's known as Z-Wave or Zigbee as their form of communication. And these will continue to work even with the router powered down and the Wi-Fi connection being unavailable. But most of us, including myself, will have our smart devices connected over Wi-Fi as it's simply a convenient way of getting up and running. And not to mention that the models of devices that use Zigbee and Z-Wave in addition to Wi-Fi are usually reserved for the higher end models, which inevitably cost more to buy. That means these devices that we take for granted and are designed to make our lives easier can actually become more of a hindrance when the router is powered down. We'll have to resort to the manual method of turning on our light switches and power outlets, which does really defeat the object of having these smart devices in the first place. Now certainly in my experience with the devices that I own, when the router gets powered down, when it comes back up, everything generally sorts itself out. Yes, it can take a minute or two for the router to reboot and all of the devices to reconnect, but manual intervention generally isn't needed. That being said, there may come a time where these devices lose connection with the router for whatever reason and need to be set up from scratch again. As you can imagine, this is probably not something you wanna be doing on a regular basis, especially if you're choosing to power down your router at the end of the day before you go to bed. Now personally, I wouldn't want the hassle of potentially having to set up all of my devices again 
especially with the number that I have dotted around the home. A valid argument to power down your router when it's not being used is around the money that you could save on your electricity bill at the end of the month. In reality though, routers don't use a huge amount of power and are so very affordable to run even when left powered on 24-7. Now wireless routers are usually solid state devices, which means they don't have any moving parts. So what does this mean in terms of the running costs? As there are no moving parts that need powering to move, the running costs are actually very low. You can expect your typical router to use around 6 watts of power. Now in the United States, the average cost of electricity is around 13.31 cents per kilowatt hour. So a router that's left powered on 24-7 and is using 6 watts of power will cost just $7 to run over the course of the entire year. Now of course the cost of electricity does vary depending on where you live in the world, but at least you now have a ballpark figure of what you can expect to pay if you're choosing to leave yours powered on. For me, $7 a year to have the router powered on and always available is a very small price to pay for the convenience that it brings. Now continuing the discussion around accessibility, this leads us on to the number one reason that people choose to power down their router when it's not being used, security. Now there are no doubt security benefits that come with powering down your router when you're not using it. But being honest, if you have a decent router that's kept up to date, has been configured with security in mind, and you have taken the necessary steps to best protect your home network, this isn't really something you need to worry about in my opinion. Now I already have a video on how you can improve your home network security, which I'll link to in the corner of the screen if you want to check that one out. The safest, most secure router will be the one that's always powered down. But of course this renders it completely useless. When it comes to security, it's key to strike a balance between the security itself and usability. Generally speaking, the easier something is to use, the less secure it is. So to wrap up this piece on security, providing you've taken the necessary steps to secure your home network while still keeping it usable for yourself, powering down the router in fear that someone may try and access it shouldn't be a concern if you ask me. Another reason that people choose to power down their router when it's not being used is that consumer grade routers that we use at home can have a tendency to overheat, particularly those cheap models that your internet service providers supply you when you sign up with them. Overheating and other issues can occur when electrical devices are left powered on and working for extended periods of time. Now a brand new router shouldn't have any of these issues, but it's something to look out for as the router begins to age. If there comes a time where you find yourself having to reboot or power down the router frequently because of overheating, I think it's time to stop using this workaround and invest in a new router. So routers are designed to be left on and there really shouldn't be any need for you to reboot them or power them down. Regularly restarting or turning off your router can actually cause more problems than it solves. In my opinion, this should only be done when it's absolutely necessary or you know you're going to be leaving home for an extended period of time and no one's going to be making use of the network. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys and you found it helpful. If you did, it'd be great if you could drop it a like, subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell to turn on notifications. Also don't forget to pay a visit to homenetworkgeek.com as we have a ton of articles there that cover everything home networking. Thank you so much for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.